Is United Health a good company to work for? In this video, we're going to be looking at United Health through the lens of the job seeker and try to determine through a few different inputs whether United Health is, is a good company for you to spend your career or invest the next few years of your career from a, from a job seeker standpoint. So uh, with any of these kinds of reviews, what we're going to be looking at is the company through uh, the resume appeal lens. So does the future you, 5, 10, 15 years down the road, get a net benefit from working for the company, in this case United Health today? Uh, we'll also look at the company through its benefits, perks, you know, co compensation if it's available. Um, we'll look at it from that point of view and, and make a determination as to whether that fits with, with what you want. We'll look at the company through uh, how the media portrays it and, and social media and, and try to make a determination around uh, what the public sentiment is around the company. And then also we'll look at the company through an economic lens. So is there uh, enough economic incentive, especially with a publicly listed company, um, what does the market view uh, in terms of the sentiment for the company? So um, with that, uh, we'll, we'll get started with a little bit of background information. United Health is uh, one of the largest companies in the world. It's a Fortune 500, solidly within the top 10, uh, top 15 of the, of the Fortune 500. Um, its primary lines of business are, are a managed health insurance. Um, it's headquartered out of Minnesota, founded in 1977. So this is a company with quite a long track record of success, uh, and we'll see in a minute with with kind of their stock price that um, there is quite a smooth uh, trajectory or, with regard to, to how the, the market is, is viewing the company that way. Uh, it's uh, $257.1 in revenue in 2020, and then its headcount is 330000 in 2020. So this is a massive company. You can imagine with that kind of scale that there's probably a lot, a lot of opportunity for growth if you, you know, did, I mean, regardless of what, what level you, you enter the company. Um, and, and there's a, probably plenty of avenues with which to, to seek growth and to seek those kinds of things. So uh, a couple of subsidiaries that, that you should be aware of uh, in the United Health Group are Optum and uh, United Health Foundation. And, and there are others that you can look up as well. Um, but this is a, a big company with a big footprint. Uh, but very much focused on kind of that healthcare uh, managed services space. So uh, with any of these kind of videos, what you want to start off with and then as you're vetting an opportunity uh, is to just get a sense of what the company is about on, from, a, from a public facing perspective. So with CPG brands, you want to figure out what they, what they sell. Uh, with a company like this that, that operates in healthcare and insurance, you just want to get an understanding of what the company is about from the homepage. So that's where we'll start. And this is where we get a sense of the different things that uh, United Health is involved in, such that you can make a determination as to whether it's of interest to you. I mean, one of the things you're going to want to do as you vet a job opportunity and, and uh, vet the quality of a company for you is to make a determination around whether your interests align with what the company is doing. Uh, that typically you know, will, will end with longer tenure for you. Um, so we can see that they've, they've got plenty of different health insurance plans that cater to different things. So small business, Medicaid, dental, things like that. Uh, you've got a lot of a lot of messaging around health care and, and, and checkups and things. So, you know, pe pers personal health is, is probably very important to the company. Uh, this is a company that has a, a large philanthropic footprint too. So there's a lot of messaging around uh, grants and, and, and things like that too. So all good information to just kind of dive through as you're looking for information around what the company is about. So once we've got a once you've got a hang on that, we're going to head over to the career section, which is in the in the footer of the homepage, and and that's typically standard for where that that is, um, and that takes us to here. And so the careers portal is where we're going to find out a little bit more about the company, from you know leadership and and, and what the company is about in terms of values and, and management, and uh, hopefully we can learn a little bit more about some of the initiatives that the company's involved. And DEI, of course, is a big one right now that a lot of companies should be leaning into, um, but you know, hopefully we get a, a chance to see some other things. So United Healthcare, our purpose, you know, uh, connecting the world to better health one person at a time. The nice, big, kind of broad uh, mission statement there. And then I think if if healthcare and if, if that kind of stuff, uh, you know, population health and, and, and you know, health and wellness for, for individuals is, is your kind of bread and butter, then, then working for a company with this kind of scale, I think is, is not a bad idea, especially if you're in, in this, in a space where you feel like resources equal, uh, impact, you know, you've got a company here with a massive balance sheet. So, 
um, a few things that they're the, the, the they're showcasing on the main page of the, of the careers portal that they're showing that uh, they allow their employees time to, to go and uh, take part in missions in, in the community uh, better together the different companies that they're a part of we mentioned earlier but Altum United Healthcare Group United Healthcare uh, here's a, yep so this is the information that we were probably wanted to see on this page uh, the inclusion and diversity statement they talk a little bit about their benefits package, telecommuting opportunities. So that's a big thing, especially nowadays with, with how, at least in the last 18 months, how, how workforces have shifted and, and workers have shifted their mindset. So uh, very nice of them to show that, that they have uh, telecommuting opportunities here. So we'll dive in a little bit more. And this is the About Us page, a couple of corporate fast facts. So we covered that they were out of Minnesota. There's their senior leadership team. Uh, medical benefits to people residing in all 50 states, 330,000 people worldwide, 3.5 billion annually uh, invested in, in technology and, and innovation. So, so there's a kind of the pointing at least or, or messaging around what the company cares about for the future. And then uh, the group uh, includes 85,000 physicians and nurses. So that, that's really interesting. There's their core businesses, uh, global locations, yeah, so that, that's important to know. I think as a job seeker, you want to be able to tell whether a, a company has global, uh, a global footprint or not uh, because that speaks to opportunity if, if you're inclined to, to want to you know, have, have kind of global responsibilities uh, you know, at, at the management level or just if you're looking for opportunities globally too. So uh, that's good to know. Missions and values, so that's, that's a good read if, if you're looking for uh, information on that, performance, innovation, relationships, compassion, integrity, our family of businesses. Yep, so here's another area that we wanted to see as a, as a job seeker, our awards. Uh, military friendly, that's that's good to know. Best place to work for disability inclusion, LinkedIn top companies. Fortune most admired companies, top remote jobs. Yep, all great signs, at least from a job seeker's perspective, that here's a company that, that's at least invested in in having a positive you know, media footprint at least. So that, that's interesting. The next we'll dive into life at uh, UHG. Here we're just gonna try and get a sense of, of what else they're promoting. And so it looks like they're promoting an innovative environment. So if you're someone that likes to be in an environment that, that's uh, focused on innovation, then, then UHG seems to be a good place. I think it says a lot about the company to put virtual work front and center. Um, so, depending on, on kind of your work style and, and what you're looking for in a work opportunity, it, this would be a good place to read about, you know, how, how things look from a virtual standpoint. United Contributions, charity, we mentioned earlier that United Health is, is quite a large, has a large philanthropic footprint, so that's good to know, good to read about there. We'll dive into their inclusion and diversity statement. So here's, uh, I think very important to, to have a page dedicated to this uh, in this day and age, of course. Um, we won't dive into it here in terms of the actual specifics, but if if DNI and, and you want to read about a company's DNI statement then or, or their initiatives, I think this is a good place to go and look at, at UHGs in particular. Uh, diversity and recruiting, campus recruiting, that's all, all important to, to know. Here's an important section that, that we definitely want to see as a job seeker. This is the page that speaks to their culture, but also more importantly, to speaks to um, benefits and, and comp stuff. So uh, stride for well-being, health and insurance, savings and retirement, additional benefits. So it looks like there's a quite a comprehensive benefits package. Nothing you wouldn't expect with a company of this size. Um, and, and this kind of this track record of, of success, at least both in the in the markets and then also just the fact that it's been around for so long. Um, and, and its scale. So uh, here are the benefits pages. I think depending on where you are in the world, of course, look for your own. But because we're in the U.S. and I'm, I'm talking out of the U.S., we'll dive into the benefits from the perspective of a U.S. employer um, employee. Um, this is this page. It's, it's good to read about medical plans. So with a company like like this, you, you would expect best in class healthcare coverage. I think um, considering that that's their core competency as a business. Um, so that would be something to look into, look into what speaks to you. Flexible spending is what they have, life insurance. Um, let's see, so I, voluntary benefits, that's an, important to know as well. Here's, a, here's kind of the financial uh, benefits, and, and I think that's important to understand as a, 
as a job seeker at a publicly listed company. So you got a 401k employee stock purchase plan. That's important to know. We'll dive into the stock performance in a minute just to, to get a sense of how valuable that purchase plan would be for you. Uh, credit union. So the, the, very robust. I, I think um, nothing you wouldn't expect, of course, from a company this size, but still quite quite competitive and quite robust as a as a benefits offering, PTO, holidays, paid parental leave, tuition reimbursement. So if that's important to you as a someone who's maybe into continuous learning or continuous development, professional development, that is, to to know that that's there and adoption assistance, that's pretty unique. Uh, and, and something I, I'd say, you know, if, if that's in the cards for you, definitely look into that too. Um, but yeah, I, I'd say just from experience, that's a competitive benefits offering. And, and very robust. The fact that it's a 11 page document, I think also speaks to how robust it is. But as you're making your decision around whether United Health is, is a good employer for you, that's one place that I would say definitely go have a look at for yourself, weigh up what you need uh, from an employer and, and, and make that decision there. So next, we'll, we'll dive into uh, UHG from a, from a social media standpoint. And companies use their social media uh, for different reasons. Uh, a lot of the time, it's to signal maybe the things that they're doing with their employees, or, or sometimes they'll use it as a sales platform and, and, and try to drive sales that way. Um, but for UHG, what we're going to look at their LinkedIn pro- LinkedIn profile for is just to get a sense of how they're using the profile, and then also, more importantly, to look at tenure. Um, that's one of the benefits of, of LinkedIn and, and uh, company pages. And so we want to get a sense of how long people are staying, because that gets it gives us a nice sense of uh, probably what the culture is like. and. and you know, the longer people are staying, the better that it, it kind of works for us. So let's dive into their LinkedIn page. You've got uh, recently posted videos that talk about Happy Customer Service Week. So they're using the, the company page to drive certain messaging, which is great. Um, it's a page of it's very professionally done. I think uh, that's good a good sign. But here's the important information that we want to seek from this page. Uh, median tenure, uh, 6.3 years. That's well above average, uh, especially in this day and age. Um, so I think that speaks to, uh, I mean, depending on the sample size, of course, but that speaks quite strongly to to what um, the culture is at, at United Health Group, and and um, you know, you, again, you got to imagine how large that org chart is, and how many people are on LinkedIn that will be associated with the company page, and so you know, read into that what you will, but the input there is that that's well above average, um, nearly two x above average, so. And then consider the macroeconomic conditions right now uh, for them to continue growing headcount over the last six months by 4%. Again, think of the base that they're starting with and, and how many people that is. Um, that's pretty impressive uh, considering the macroeconomic environment at the moment. So um, that's good information to have as you're making a decision there. Um, the next thing we want to look at is, is uh, United Healthcare from, a, from an Instagram perspective. And Instagram is just a proxy for social and and. Uh, what we want to try and f- figure out is, uh, as a job seeker, what what's the company pushing out there as, in terms of their messaging? What values and initiatives are they attaching themselves to, so that we can make a determination ourselves if we jive with those, uh, with those, with those uh, values? So it looks like United Healthcare has a couple of LinkedIn profiles. Uh, one that will be the consumer facing, or at least the the public facing version, and then we've also got a UHG careers. Uh, one which is an interesting play from an employer brand's uh, perspective, uh, but also great as an empl- as a job seeker as we try and make a determination around what the culture is like and whether our personality and our work style will fit into that. So let's that first dive into this page here, which is the consumer facing side. This is the general page, and it looks like they, they do a lot of messaging around health, and and that's that's great. I think it's very useful information. Little little small things to to add value to people. I think you know check your posture, things like that. It's it's fun and, and interesting to, to watch or to take a look at. UHG Careers is the page where we're going to want to see how uh, how the company at least is, is portraying its its uh, talent base. The high performers, the challengers, the insatiably curious brainiacs who have compassion for the world. These are the people of United Health Group. Great line to, to start that. Uh, and I think, you know, you've got to identify yourself and then whether that, that jives with with who you are as an individual, but that's a great line to start with. Um, it, it's, it looks like a great page, uh, you know, the showcasing a lot of the the different employees, the different initiatives here. This has just caught my eye. Don't wait to be involved to the table. So a bit of career advice from the CEO of OptumServe. So that's a part of their company there. 
really interesting, really, really well executed page. I think uh, as a job seeker and, and if you're making a decision around United Health, this is a good place to, to go and have a look um, to get a sense of, of the culture there. Um, but between the LinkedIn page and understanding tenure and then these two pages to understanding values and, and positioning and, and the, the perspective that the company has, that I think those are good places to go take a look uh, for yourself there. Uh, the next thing that we want to look at is UHG from a media perspective. Uh, this gives us a sense as a job seeker of what the general consensus around uh, the impression of the company is in the media. It gives us an idea of what's written about the company so that we can see if there are any potential red flags or yellow flags uh, around you know, working for the organization. And so um, a good place to do this, of course, is just ch checking out the, uh, the Google News feed. Uh, it gives us a nice idea of what's being written about recently. Um, we've got some stuff around COVID, um, some stuff around uh, spending and plans. So I'm not going to dive too deep into each and every story here, but it's it's a good idea when, when we're vetting a company for, for a job opportunity to just get a sense of what the market thinks. Uh, what, what does the what does the media think? What's, what's the general sentiment around the company? Uh, with any publicly listed company, you're going to get a lot of stuff around stock price and stock movements, of course, and that's understandable. But you're really trying to get a sense of whether there are some cultural issues or, or things like that. So, um, you know, I won't pass judgment here, but just take a look at this yourself as you're making the decision uh, to, to decide. And finally, the, you want to take a look at what UHG looks like from a, from a market sentiment standpoint. This also speaks to economic incentive when we look at the, the stock price. And what we do is we, we like to see it kind of pull back five years to get a sense of what the chart looks like. What does the market think of the company? Um, you know, typically baked into stock prices is, is sentiment around leadership and, and direction and things like that. So um, here's United Health, United Health Group stock price or stock chart. Um, read into that, of course, what you will uh, in terms of economic incentive for you. Uh, and then, you know, when we, go, when we think back at that benefits uh, document, you know, is that something that you want to pursue as, as you uh, you pursue an opportunity here? But in terms of just the general chart, you know, bottom left, top right is, is what we want to see. And, and this one follows that. Um, and, and so, you know, that that's uh, one thing, a factor to, to weigh into your equation as, as you're making the decision. Um, that That's a pretty strong chart up 200% over the last five, 260%, 270% over the last five years. So. Um, of course, read into that what you will. Um, we're not going to make any kind of predictions there, but um, that's a, that's something to weigh uh, again into your equation. So we've had a look at, at UHG now from many different angles. We've had a look at what the company does uh, as an overview. You know, the, we know that the we know the verticals at least that the company operates in and the different subsidiary companies. We've had a look at the company through. The lens of, of, a, of, a, of a candidate. So we've had a look at their jobs portal, their careers portal. We've taken a look at the different initiatives that they that they want to be a part of. We've, we've realized that they are a, a strong contributor, at least philanthropically, to the communities that they serve. Um, we know that they've got a massive footprint, 330,000 employees. We took a look quite in depth at a, at a, a compensation or, or at least the benefits, sorry, uh, uh, document that, that they put online. So we, you know, that's a, a great place to get an understanding of uh, whether the organization fits what you need as an as a, an individual and what your family needs, for example, uh, from a from a benefit standpoint, we've taken a look at UHG from a, a social standpoint, social sentiment standpoint. What does the company put out there into the world on social media? We took a look at tenure, and we found out that their tenure uh, across the organi organization on LinkedIn is well above average, uh, and and you know they're growing their headcount over the last six months as well, which is impressive in the macroeconomic conditions. Everybody's hiring, but it's hard to get talent at the moment. Uh, the news we, we took a look at for, for what the, the media thinks of the company in terms of sentiment. And then we also had a look at economic incentive with the stock price. So uh, quite a comprehensive look at UHG as an employer. Uh, and uh, what we, of course, recommend at Employment Boost is, is taking a look at all those different factors um, as you weigh an opportunity with an organization, um, in this case, UHG. Um, but if healthcare, uh, if insurance, if, if that kind of area uh, of, of, of work is, is where you'd like to be or what you're interested in, then uh, USG looks like a great place uh, to spend a career or spend the next few years of your, of your career as you navigate uh, a job opportunity there.